Luke Clary is out at the St. Pete Pier right now where there's a lot of water. Not surprising given that structure out on the tail end of the pier there. Dave, Courtney, I'm standing in the patio deck of a bar and grill on St. Pete Pier, which is giving us some cover, but from here we can really see what the ocean is doing. That's a view at Tampa Bay, and as you can see, those white cap waves are rolling this way. Each time they crash into the seawall, you can just feel it, the vibrations here on the patio deck where we are standing. The wind and rain have intensified significantly in the last 20 to 30 minutes that we have been standing here again on St. Pete Pier and if you look out toward the ocean you can see those white cap waves rolling in the rain coming down in sheets and if you just listen here you may be able to hear the howling of the wind against this structure that again is providing us some level of protection from the wind and the rain although as I mentioned it has intensified significantly in the last 20 to 30 minutes or so. If you look out this way, you may be able to just make out the air traffic control tower over at the airport over here. You may also be able to make out the rocks that make up the seawall in this part of the bay. Over here, uh, take a look and you'll see some of the, uh, if you pan just over to the right, you'll see the boats there on that dock just bobbing up and down in the water. We're very close to the marina here as well. And so in the last hour, two hours or so, we spent in downtown St. Pete and up and down St. Pete Pier. We've run into a number of people who were either just here to check out the waves and the wind and the rain for themselves, or in the case of one man, a boater who wanted to get out to his boat and make sure that the lines were safely secured. Everybody that we have talked to in the last hour or so has acknowledged that being here is not a good idea, right? That, uh, I don't know if you can hear me or not. As but it, we have heard again and again from, yes. Let, let me just ask you, Luke, uh, it hey, looks like, if I'm not mistaken, you look like you're at Doc Ford's restaurant there. and. Uh, and I'm just wondering how That's close right. how close is it getting uh, to the restaurant there? We see the big waves coming over the the seawall there, but is it is is the uh, the surge coming in there at all? Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and take a look over here at the seawall itself, right? I would estimate that this is 25 to 30 feet from the edge of the seawall, and as this storm intensifies in this area, you know, initially when we arrived. About 30 minutes ago, we wouldn't see big crashes of waves hitting the seawall like that, throwing that mist up into the air. Initially, when we arrived, we were not getting that with nearly the frequency that we have seen in the last half hour. So it's very clear that this storm is intensifying from our vantage point here at Doc Ford's Rum Bar and Grill. Yeah, well, we're, we're understanding the wind gusts out there in the 50s, according to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskin. So not surprising we're seeing those kind of waves, but it's going to get worse before it gets better, unfortunately.